Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you all how to edit websites with a cool program called Firebug. It's a Firefox plugin extension. It's really easy to use and really easy to understand. So first of all, you're going to go to www.firebug.com. You don't um, you don't need Firefox to download it. All you have to do is go to um, getfirebug.com to download it. You can for um, to install it on Firebug. Click the orange button right here that says install Firebug 1.2 for Firefox. If you have um, other web browsers such as Safari, Opera, or Internet Explorer, then you should then you can download get uh, you, then you can get Firebug Lite. Once you once you're done downloading um, Firebug, just you know, kind of do what I do. I'm basically just going to be showing you all some of the basic um, tags and basic, um, you know, editing and everything with it. You can, um, you can edit HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and a lot of other stuff with it. It's really cool. So I'm just going to give a little test on Google. Note that when you're editing a website, basically, Firebug is there to basically just help you out. It's like, you can edit, like, okay, for example. If, you, if you're creating a website with HTML and you don't really want to just you want to keep on having to go back to your website and refresh the page, then you you can go into your website and edit and edit the HTML with Firebug. It lets you see it lets you see what you're doing while you're editing your website. So basically, I'm just gonna you know show you a few things with the CSS. CSS is mainly for forums. Like if you have a forum, then you can um, edit it with um, CSS tab, and you can change the colors and, and images. You can also um, insert image image URLs and insert image images onto websites. Note that it's not permanent. If you want, like for example, you have a forum or you have a, um, a site with HTML, what you have to do is you'll have to select all the text and then copy it and paste it onto wherever you're um, you know paste it onto so that it will be on your website. So basically, I'm just gonna do a little demonstration with HTML. Now I could see that if I'm just doing like this, it would take a it wouldn't really take a while to look for all the uh, headings and stuff that I want to edit. So the cool thing about Firebug is that you can click on the inspect button, which is right here. Click on it, and you can um, edit any part of the website that you see the little, um, the, the blue border around. So for example, if I wanted to edit Maybe I'm just gonna give a quick example. Maybe the web button, the web, um, the web right here that's in bold text, which is right here. I want to edit it. It would take me. Um, Firebug would take me right to it, and I could change the link. I could change what it's called and everything. So I'll just do like this. Um, just probably enter something, you know, anything random, like. Green. <laughs> Basically, just into green, grass, flowers. Oops, flowers. And as you can see, huh, I think I did that wrong. Shimmer inspect. Just try and just talk. There you go. As you see, I am now editing the text. I can enter whatever I want. Now, as you can see, it still has the same link and everything, right? All you do is basically just look for the link and change it to whatever you want. It's really useful with creating, um, you know, websites with HTML. Now, I'm just going to demonstrate it. Straight Firebug on a forum. I'm going to go to one of my forums I've created a while ago, which is called Elite Skaters. Let me give it a second to load. Alright, here we go. Now, um, for example, if I wanted to edit the web, if I wanted to edit this, then I will just click on um, click on Firebug, which is at the bottom right-hand corner of uh, Mozilla Firefox. 
I will um, right click it and then click on open file mode and new tab. So now I'm gonna page I'm gonna form with uh, that allows CSS, which basically just runs on CSS. So I can change anything I want. Like another cool thing about it is you don't have to um, enter PHP color codes. You can just type in the name of a color and it automatically changes that color. Like if I want it red, I would just type it red and it turns to red. If I want it blue, it would turn to blue. Or if I want it green, it turn to green. So I'm just gonna set this color like yellow. Um, another thing you can change color the length of color you can change the color of links. So we'll change it to red. We'll just you know we're doing that edit stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna go on inspect and I'm gonna just choose the section that I want to edit. Like say for example if I wanted to edit maybe something right here. If I wanted to edit the header to header number two, as it is called. Forms also allow HTML, so you can actually edit HTML and the CSS. From edit and see it in CSS. Here we go. All right. Expect. Now I'm going to what you're going to edit. I'm going to do a little demonstration. Just edit this right here with HTML. Really easy. So forms. Now, I, you, like, if I delete it, then as you can see, it it, it was it basically just deleted itself. So it deleted. If I type in any a new text, then it would appear. So close here. On the website. So like, that's how you you know add your own. like just add a website. It's really easy and simple. And that's about watching. Subscribe.